So today we're going to talk about graphics. This will be a short lecture just to introduce a little bit of what you have to know to, to do Lab 1. Uh, I've been passing around uh, uh, the Lab 1 assignment. Uh, and so uh, I've used lots of uh, graphics around the internet, bought them off eBay and Amazon and China. And all the ones that had an R in it have had fine. I've, I've been there. The pinouts are different, and we'll get to that in the next slide. But I've had pretty good luck uh, using the same code uh, that's in the driver function for multiple instantiations. So I think if it, if it has ST7735R in it, and it looks like it have pins that associated with the SPI port, uh, I think you'll be fine. Uh, it is um, 128 pixels this way by 160 pixels that way. Um, it's got 18 uh, color bits per pixel, and it's got that weird, uh, uh, how do you divide? You know, it's got a, that weird uh, format uh, using a 16-bit color in the um, 565 format. And so there are some uh, sort of confusions about whether it's 16-bit color or 18-bit color. The actual driver is 16-bit color, but the, the machine itself may, may support 18 bits, although we're only using 16 bits. Um, uh, there is a driver starter code, like I said, that uses the synchronous peripheral interface. And there are two starter codes for you to try. Um, this starter code here is the exact starter code which will become your lab one. Uh, this other starter code's kind of uh, cute. It generates a fat, um, a secure digital, secure digital file system, which you might want to use for your uh, project. So if you want your project to have a file system on it with a, one of those micro SD cards, uh, you could uh, build your project around the SD file application. Um, other than an optional thing for your project, uh, we won't use SD card in this semester. As I mentioned, uh, if you can find the launchpad dll.dll and you stick it in the Kyle ARM bin folder, uh, you'll be able to simulate Lab 1. Here's the hardware. This is the, um, the uh, this pinout here um, is one of the ST7735 pinouts. Uh, what you want to do when you hook yours up is ignore the numbers, but look at the names. Okay? Ignore the pin numbers because that can vary from one to another, but look for the pin names. Uh, you'll see that there's a 3.3 volt power, a ground. Uh, backlight is optional, but I like it. The backlight's on for that one. Um, and then what's in the yellow? These um, five pins. Uh, are required to implement the graphics. So the yellow is the graphics. Uh, the other two gray ones you can uh, add in later or certainly put them down on your PCB uh, to allow the, uh, the SD card to run. So it's going to use uh, PD7 and PA4 uh, in addition to the other five. And as you can see here that the uh, PA6 and 7 are general purpose uh, output pins. Um, PA6 tells you whether or not it's a command operation or, or a data operation. Uh, PA7 is the reset. Uh, but these implement synchronous per peripheral interface. And we'll talk more about that when we get to, um, we get to lab 5. But for now, we're just going to build on top of the driver. What we learned on the first day, uh, I'll, I'll say again, and a driver has got three files. And we'll see that the uh, header file is the fun one. That's the design file. The, the prototypes for the public functions go in there. The implementation file is the workhorse one. And then the main program, which we use for two purposes, one for testing. And the other is to give an example use. So we'll see example use is the other reason to have the main program. So the testing goes to the judge when you get sued. And the example use goes to your customer when they want to see how awesome it is. Uh, this is the, the, the aspect of, of lab one. And that is, again, it's um, uh, 160 
bits in this direction, 128 bits in that direction, and you're going to use this function draw pixel, which takes an xy position in this domain, 0, 0 to uh, 127, 159, and draws that 565 five color pixel. And so what you're going to do is write a function called xy point, which basically maps x and y, where now x goes from uh, min x to max x, and y goes from min y to max y, and then map it into this little spot. Okay. If you look at mine, I actually drew, whenever I drew this, I actually drew four pixels. My dots are really big. I drew four pixels at that spot. And you can draw one pixel, and you can see my favorite color uh, as well. So in summary, for this, uh, for this PowerPoint, we see uh, the interface, which was SPI, and the three driver files. So make sure you see the three driver files in your lab one. The design document is the prototypes for the public functions, and they go to your customer. The implementation file goes to, your, uh, to yourself. And then the testing file will go to the judge when you get sued, and the example use in there will go to your customer to show you how awesome. Questions? Uh, thanks for coming. We'll see you on Wednesday. We're going to start talking about Lab 2, the architecture, interrupts, uh, fun stuff for the rest of the week. We'll see you then. <laughs>